how's everybody doing on Memorial Day weekend? I hope everyone is staying safe and sane with all the adjustments we've had to make with everything going on recently. I know that a lot of people have had to adjust travel plans and more importantly as well adjust their real estate plans. So I thought it might be neat to take you all on a tour of St. Pete Beach and with that show you a couple properties I find to be interesting. One of which you'll see when we're coming over the Bayway Bridge now, the Don Cesar. It is the large pink hotel that is in between the end of St. Pete Beach and the start of Passa Grill. And this hotel at one point was a hospital during one of the many wars we've had in our country and has since been turned into a beautiful high-end hotel and you'll notice the iconic pink color and that's what it is most known for. So we are getting to the junction of St. Pete Beach and Passa Grill and we're going to go ahead and take a little gander down Passa Grill. You'll notice Lots of palm trees everywhere. That's a very Florida thing. It is Memorial Day weekend, so we've got a good amount of traffic on the beach. Our beaches are open, and from what I've seen, everyone seems to be respecting social distancing and all of that good stuff. And you'll see when we turn, you'll get a much better view of the Don Cesar Hotel as well. And it is massive. They keep up with the property beautifully. It is gorgeous out today. The skies are blue. We have some wispy clouds out. And I'm not sure of the date, but I would say the Don Star is probably one of the oldest buildings we have on St. Pete Beach. Just from what I've read online and things like that, you guys will have to go and dig into that and find out for me. But it has gone through many phases and it is absolutely gorgeous. We are heading to Passa Grill Beach and we're going to check out what currently is the most expensive property on St. Pete Beach. It's got four bedrooms, it's got four and a half baths, and it is over 5,000 square feet of just heated air conditioned space. So you see we're kind of cruising by the Don Cesar now. A little ice cream shop in there that's awesome. So Passa Grill is a really cute, quaint area. You've got, the way we're driving now, on our right hand side the Gulf of Mexico and a large area of beach and then to our left is more of the Bay Intercoastal Waterway area and we have a little yacht club out here they recently finished doing the streets putting the electricity underground so with any storms or high winds the electricity shouldn't be affected too much in this area and with that they repaved all of the streets as well which is awesome because they had not been done in a while but you'll notice driving we have a wide range of houses out here you have a lot of Spanish architecture you have a lot of cottage style homes that are still around which is awesome because most places all you see is very large built-up homes and Paso Real still has some of those old Florida style cottage homes which is great and then in between you have a mix of very new high built homes which is great for hurricane protection Passa Grill does have a lot of its own restaurants and bars and it has little shops in the downtown area which is great so it's just kind of like a one-stop shop type of place so we are turning on to 23rd Avenue and this is going to take us towards our first destination which is from what I found currently as of today Memorial Day weekend 2020 the most expensive home in St. Pete Beach so the address on this home 
is 2220 Sunset Way in St. Pete Beach. And this home is 5,698 square feet. Again, it does have four bedrooms, four and a half baths. And this one was actually built in 2004. Now, the asking price on this is $6.5 million. So, if you're in the market for something like this, beautiful and extravagant, you're in luck. And this does sit directly on and face past the Girl Beach. So, the sunsets you'll get from this are absolutely stunning. And it does have a lot of nice upgrades to it one it's built up so flood insurance hurricane protection all of that it has pavers and then if you guys want to go ahead and check below i'll attach a link so you can see this home 2220 sunset way and again it's absolutely stunning i'm going to take you on a little drive so you can see where the beach area is that this faces and so this faces the gulf of mexico i'm quite certain that it has its own little private beach access with a back patio and you'll notice we're driving around right now they're monitoring beach access and things like that to just uphold CDC guidelines and make sure everyone is using the beach safely so if you see some police officers in the video that's what's going on but again that house is absolutely gorgeous at a cool 6.5 million so we're gonna head back towards St. Pete Beach and you'll notice in front of me there's a little bridge that little bridge takes you into Vena which is another little finger island off of Passabral and same sort of mixture of smaller quaint homes along with large new built homes as well. Sea Critters in the Wharf to my right are two restaurants on Passabral that are boater friendly so you can actually pull your boat up and utilize it that way and nice officer directing traffic on memorial weekend let us go pretty quick coming up on our right hand side is the yacht club on passive and you are able to attain membership there they have a little restaurant and they have uh, dock areas for your boat and things like that if you get a property out here that may be on the beach but not directly on the water so you can still utilize your boat for various water activities and Passagro has a one-way street going in and out but you'll see even on Memorial weekend the traffic flow flow is uh, pretty good not not too jammed up anything like that a lot of people out walking around with the nice sidewalks that they have installed here and again, palm tree lined streets, that's a super iconic Florida thing. So absolutely gorgeous out today. We have a little cloud cover, but that's okay because it's 94 degrees out right now. So I feel like summer is officially here. But that's okay. Us Floridians aren't keen on cold weather, so I'll take it. We're coming up to the Don Cesar again. Beautiful, iconic pink hotel. And there is a hotel similar in St. Petersburg, the Vinoy, that has that iconic pink color to it as well. And I believe age-wise they're pretty similar and they were both utilized for things other than being a hotel before what they've become at this point. And Don Cesar has a huge driveway entrance, lots of parking. And to our right, there is, if you know, if you were to turn right here, there is a little public boat ramp. So if you live on the island or slightly off the island, this is probably the closest public boat ramp other than going over to Fort DeSoto. So that is convenient as well. And we are getting ready to re-enter onto Gulf Boulevard, which is the main drag on St. Pete Beach. So we will see how Memorial Day is actually, or Memorial Day weekend rather, is panning out on the first day this Saturday. See what the traffic's like. And you'll 
notice while we're driving there's a lot of hotels and restaurants that flank Gulf Boulevard but in between all those are a lot of little finger islands that have super cute neighborhoods that are very family friendly they're very active great little areas and then you have restaurants hotels all that sort of stuff just a couple blocks away so it's a really nice epicenter to be in giving this guy advertising on the back it's a taxi cab a free plug so we are merging back on to Gulf Boulevard nice officer there watching traffic gotta love all these new changes we've had but it makes you feel safe I hope so definitely thicker traffic going on right now but not that bad so I feel like a lot of people are probably already on the beach at barbecues stuff like that all the little American flags are out being patriotic so you'll see to our left and to our right we have a lot of hotels condominiums so if a house isn't your thing we have tons of condominium options that face the Gulf of Mexico on the beach and also face the intercoastal so you have a wide variety in that regard as well and some of the condo units out here are able to be so rented you can not only have your vacation second home but you can receive some income off of that as well which makes the deal a little bit sweeter getting into a little pusher traffic now which is normal for this time of year. But after everything that's been going on, it's nice to see things slightly back to normal. So the light that we're coming up to flanks Gulf Boulevard, and that will take you when you turn right into the Bella Vista neighborhood, which is a very notable neighborhood in St. Pete Beach. It's very desirable. And again, they have a lot of really nice built up homes they have some older homes as well but the whole neighborhood is maintained wonderfully so we are heading to what we consider to be Lido Beach which is another little finger island off of Gulf Boulevard and where the lowest priced home at this point in time is located on St. Pete Beach driving through this neighborhood you'll notice that coming up it's a lot of one level homes and then you can kind of see ahead of us you have a lot of built up homes a lot of these homes that are on our left and right hand side are not on the water they are just on this finger island but the outer edge homes are on the water so I'm pulling up to you can kind of see when I turn around our lowest priced home on St. Pete Beach and they have a lot of lush landscaping it's absolutely gorgeous they did a really nice job with that and the address for this home is 205 45th Avenue one car garage it has a nice tile roof which has 50 year lifespan if not more depending on how you care for it which is awesome bright and cheery yellow color too but you'll see as we're driving through the neighborhood everyone keeps up with their homes really well and you have a really nice beach vibe out here and in front of us you'll see some people walking over to the beach because that's how close it is you literally walk up two two and a half blocks and you have beach access which is awesome and then right up here too is a small little park so if you have a dog or kids you can go for a walk up to the park and they have picnic bench seating and a little jungle gym area for kids to play which is awesome so it's a really nice community back here and kind of caters to everyone young and old so we are heading back out to Gulf Boulevard and I'm gonna kind of give you guys a little view of the rest of Gulf Boulevard because I think that this
this end of Gulf Boulevard is a little bit calmer and it does have more neighborhoods. Once you get up here, you have some of our larger resorts like the Tradewinds, the Serata, things like that. You can see to our left, public beach access looks pretty full. So again, Memorial Day weekend is in full effect. And we do have a lot of amenities out here on St. Pete Beach. They have the rec center that has a full gym that offers a discounted membership to anyone that lives on St. Pete Beach and Passa Grill. So that's super nice. So you don't even have to drive off the island to use a gym or anything like that. Gas is out here, grocery store. Pretty much everything's on the island. A Walmart and a Target is only about a 10 or 15 minute drive tons of different banking options out here as well so they've done a really good job to make it accessible for everybody and make the living out here super easy and super patriotic you can see the little flags on all the light poles blowing in the wind it is breezy today so even though it's 94 out we've got a little breeze so that helps So driving up on our left hand side we have some of our larger resorts that include the Grand Plaza, Serata Beach Resort, and the Tradewinds Resort. And these are the largest resorts that we have on our St. Pete Beach out here and then flanked in between and beside them you have different condominiums, different heights, different sizes, but there's a ton of options. So if you're coming in to visit, car rental places as well, tons of restaurant options, anything you can think of we have. We actually just got a Coney Island style hot dog shop on the beach. So even if you are from the Northeast and you want a dog, we have somewhere that can do that for you. So on the left here, one of the largest resorts on our West Coast here is the Serrata resort just want to make sure no one was crossing there and they just within the past two years did a lot of updates they redid both pools they have two tiki bars on property that serve food as well and they completely renovated that um, and all the bars behind these hotels are super local friendly so they definitely encourage anyone that lives out here to come and patronize their restaurants and bars which is awesome because you can get a vacation feel only going a couple blocks away from your house and then we are cruising by on the left hand side the Tradewinds Resort as well and they actually have more than one property location on the island out here so they are large they host weddings all sorts of events things like that but they drive a lot of revenue to this area so we appreciate that So like I said before, I just wanted to do a video because I know a lot of people had to change travel plans or, you know, swap around when they were going to be able to come down and look for a property. So I thought it might be fun on Memorial Weekend, you know, when everything in this area has kind of kickstarted again to do a video drive through with you guys so you kind of feel like you were here with me. And it is beautiful Florida weather too, so that made today doing a video even better. We do have a Guy Harvey Resort that we're driving past right now, and it has its own bar and grill too. So we are coming to the end of Gulf Boulevard here, and it's going to take me back into St. Pete. So I just wanted to thank you guys for watching the video and going on a ride along with me through St. Pete Beach and Pasa Grill and checking out the most expensive and the least expensive property in this area currently. Like always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'm more than happy to help with questions regarding your real estate or even if you're looking for things to do while you're just coming down to visit. I'm a native Floridian, so I am full of information. Make sure you like this video, click down below to subscribe because we have some more great things coming your way, videos, blogs, stuff like that. Thanks for watching, guys.